and I'm not going to be biased with any skill set. So almost 69 to 73 percentage of students are enrolling for a course. Matter and supply is what I wanted to tell. Last quarter of 2022, boom has started, right? You six skill set, which is was demand got created by the time of 2022 at the last quarter. But still, before the demand and supply got crashed for it, but the demand and supply will get changed for every six months or every one year. Now create three plans. Plan A, Plan B, Plan C. Hi, welcome to the Data Tech. So today we are going to discuss a very interesting topic. And this is especially for freshers and if you are in final year and recent college graduates and even for third year students as well. And then I just wanted to tell you two things. The first one, please do watch this video completely. I'm going to give a lot of information which is very much useful for you. And the second one, I'm just going to give a disclaimer. And the reason of disclaimer, I will tell you. So I'm a data engineer and that doesn't mean I going to just support only data technologies and I'm not going to be biased with any skill set. Okay, because the information what I'm going to tell you in this video, you will feel that I'm going, I'm just giving some kind of a biased information. No, it's not like that because uh, YouTube is not my primary business. I'm not having any paid courses and I'm not taking any online trainings where I just wanted to uh, give you such biased information. So I don't have such requirements. Okay, I do have a full time job. I'm, an, I'm a software engineer. I'm a data engineer. I don't have a full time job. Okay, so uh, let's get into the topic. So demand and supply is very important term that we need to consider and that even we need to do a research before start learning any skill set. So I recently connected with three professors who work for different engineering colleges and then I just requested them to get me a report from their students. Almost I asked them to consider five departments like computer science, IT, AIDS, triple EEC. So almost like 15 departments. So what I asked them is, I just need some information, data from your final year students. So my requirement of the question is, I just need to know what are all the courses that the final year students are preparing other than their academics for the placements or like to get a job, what courses they are enrolled or what courses they are learning on their own. So almost 69 to 73 percentage of students are enrolling for a course full stack development. Okay. So here, the problem is not with full stack development or, or the course title or the skill set that you choose. The demand and supply is what I wanted to tell. See, uh, when I get to know this information, right, I was happy. Okay, fine. Okay, 73, 69 to 73 percentage of students are going for full stack development. I'm okay with that. But I just need to know the reason. So that's my second thing. So the, my second report of the data, the question is, what is the reason to choose it? And I got three reasons mostly. The first one, they are saying like the demand and supply, but not the demand and supply that I was expecting. What the students are saying is almost 50 uh, strength in the class and almost 30 students are enrolling for full stack. So I'm also enrolling for it. So that's the first thing. So people understood the uh, demand and supply in a wrong way. So they are just seeing the demand and supply within the classroom, not outside the world. Okay, that's the first one. Second thing, I'm good at that. I feel that I'm good at that. Okay, that is a valid reason. Okay. And third, and this is something uh, very different. People are saying this is easy, so I'm choosing it because it's all about developing a front end uh, web, web application, HTML, CSS, colorful and easy to learn. It's not having that much programming language or doesn't have so many lines of code. So I'm just, I'm happy to get to do it. So these are the three reasons that I'm getting from it. The, the last one I was shocked because like full stack is not as easy as you think, right? So it requires a lot of effort. And if you see full stack is easy and that means you are learning in a wrong way or someone is teaching you that way, then they are teaching you wrongly. Okay. I'm not a full stack developer, but in my career, I worked in different technologies. I even built a website. I was working for, I worked in web related technologies and I did a mobile development as well. I did testing, I did coding, I did SQL. And now into big data cloud. Okay. So I know what, how the thing with respect to full stack development when it comes. Okay. Now you can ask me a question. Okay. Gautam, are you saying that taking or learning full stack development is wrong? No, I'm not coming to say that. My point is not that. See, understanding the demand and supply outside the box, outside your college, outside your campus is very important. The demand and supply of a skill set will be getting changed every three months to six months. Okay, roughly the last quarter of 2022, 
the full stack boom has started right roughly it started by the time not only that ai also started by the time cloud data engineering like big data devops everything have started at the same time even the blockchain right it got started at the same time but we do have this six technologies at least whatever i i said right almost i said you six skill set which is was demand got created by the time of 2022 at the last quarter but still most of the people went to full stack and why because people said it is easy so because of this what happened right by the end of 2023 and all over this 2024 the demand and supply got crashed for full stack development you know that's the data says by many of the job portals so we have demand but the supply got increased when i say supply is the developers could develop the full stack development so they are the supply and what is the demand i need a website so that is a demand and the supply is i need developers so i have more demand but i have less developers is when that you will get a lot of job opportunities with high paid salary when demand and supply is equal is also fine but now what happens supply got increased demand is in the same so demand doesn't goes down demand is still there but supply got increased and that does mean like now we have more resource for full stack development and the demand and supply got crashed see how can i check for this demand and supply and when can i check for the demand and supply okay these two biggest question that you make it in your mind first one see if you are doing your third year you can still see for demand and supply so that you are trying to prepare it per year right but the demand and supply will get changed for every 6 months or every 1 year so always try to start checking the demand and supply based on that you can start your preparation when you are in your final year right that's the correct time to start and second how can i know the demand and supply the first thing like get it to linkedin or get it to any such professional portals and talk to real time people and then you will come to know what is in demand and when you try to connect with any industry expert you have to try with for example if you are connecting to some full stack developers right try to connect with a 3 year experience to full stack developer a 10 year experience to full stack developer and a 15 year experience to full stack developer and talk to them each of their perspectives will be different and not just one talk to like more than two or more than three spending the time on talking with them is not going to be loss for you right so you will come to know what is the demand at supply fine so now some of the students the recent time i went for a college and people asked me all this question and that's where i right planned to make this video you know and people are in lot of confusion okay so the confusion is one of one guy told me this okay gautam when you are asking me to do this demand at supply research and i'm just starting but the problem is in my college we are getting some companies from the placement cell we are getting some companies and these companies my placement coordinator are recommending us to learn full stack development because we get companies from the full stack development related companies on the coming into the campus so in that case i have to go for that tech stack only right it's not about full stack development you need technology but that is what coming to your campus and your faculties are telling you prepare for it okay so now this is a question for him in that case how can i go for something else and learn that okay let's now create three plan plan a plan b plan c plan a what is the ultimate goal for us is to get a job that's the first thing right so now the first door is your campus placement okay the first thing plan a your campus placements companies are coming with a prerequisite of skill set then learn that prepare it no problem just learn that so this is the plan a what is the plan b okay i am i didn't get any offer in my college the placement now plan b you are coming out of your college and now you are entering into the real world now you have to understand what is the high demand technologies and that's where like you have to do research understand the demand and supply and talk to people okay now you get to know okay this is a skill set that i have to learn okay you are doing your preparation and now you are telling me okay so since this is a demanding technology companies are asking for some good experience to people at least they are asking me for an internship experience now what i can do go them right now plan c plan c is there will be some tech stack even the freshers can get for example python or like even html css or sql or even a testing you just prepare it get into a job getting a tag 
an experienced person tag is very much important so get the job get into either coding or just developing a website or mobile application or even testing or automation get into the job just get the tag stay there for one year get the word that you are an experienced person not a fresher some people used to think okay i got a job i got some coding job or some automation testing job i'm comfortable at getting 50k 70k so i'm i'm good to go with this but you should not end up with that mindset once you get a job that's very bad because they cannot always sit in one particular job for 10 to 15 years that will not happen in the it world right are you using the same phone for more than 2 years and, and i am talking about uh, above average no one uses it right that way because you are giving new requirement you need new phone and then the phone company manufactures a new phone for you so you are giving a requirement for the industry that you need new things so we have to be up to date in the market not only in the it field in general nowadays we have to be up to date in any profession right and then only the job security thing comes into picture so if you are into mainframe or you are getting a coding job or any any like not on demand tech stack you are getting a job just that is just for to get a experience but don't stay with that okay you have to just get a job just people should call you okay you are an experienced it guy and then choose the demand tech stack learn it and then do a jump right so this is plan a plan b plan c this is how it has to go okay it's not like uh, some fancy terms that some fancy influencers use okay do this do that you will get a job no it is not going to be work out for everyone so i didn't come in that way okay i struggled a lot to get my first job and i know how to get it so almost i have 10 years of experience i did all these stuff whatever the fancy influencer says right so always it has to be open minded you should have different mindsets you should have a clear road map of anything that you are doing if you do plan a first create a clear road map okay plan b road map plan c road map get into it and don't stay long in any plans you have to shift definitely okay do this so it's a competitive world and i just wanted to tell you everything as frank as possible because as i told you i don't have any business so i i can like uh giving you some fancy terms and i'm getting into my course it's not like that i'm not something i'm selling it to you okay so even if you dislike the video i don't care about it okay so that's the thing because this is not my business but i'm just telling you the reality the points whatever i told you it's it's completely the real one so the agent of the video is completed and if you really like this video please do subscribe this and please do forward this to your friends and colleagues and i do have a lot of videos in my channel like big data cloud computing programming languages just have a look on my channel and i do have instagram page d data tech where i do a lot of small videos where you can follow me as well and you can connect through that if you have any questions and the comment forum is open for you you can just write your thoughts on it and then i'll try to respond for it Thanks for watching guys